start to for you like to ride a horse or if you prefer to walk about 800 meters to the Asik. By the way, we see there is two monuments in the way. There is a chili block stone, there is a palace stone. Then we arrive to the entrance. The entrance is called Asik in Arabic, which means can be about 1,200 meters low. Okay. Uh, we walk through the mountain, beautiful canyon, to Al Khazna, the treasury, the most beautiful and the famous monument in Petra. It's always where you see a TV show, a, a documentary about Petra. We see always Al Khazna, the most beautiful and the famous one. After we have a street of facade, <coughs> we have high place of sacrifice, we have a theater, we have a royal tombs, we have city center, the colonnade street, we have a great temple, castle bench, family escape, we have and there are the monastery, we have peasant teachers, we have the city. The city more than uh, 40,000 kilometers square. You, we will not cover everything in two hours, but I believe in two hours we will arrive to the treasury and we see the most beautiful and famous monument in Petra. After the treasury, we check the time. If we have more time, maybe we continue a little bit more. If we have no time, we turn back about the story of this place. We, we just arrived now to the entrance mm -hmm. and we now we walk that way. But we are now in the way to see this place and this place here called Petra. Yeah, Petra, it's a Greek word, it means rock. And here we can see a rock, a rock mountain. So that's why I call Petra. In Arabic, we call it a rakim something covered in the rock so that's why we call it Arakim in Arabic the people who built this place here called Nabatean people mm -hmm. uh, we believe about Nabatean one of the Arab nomad tribe came from Arabia Peninsula about 600 years before Jesus time they came as a nomad people traveling between different sides in Jordan and Saudi Arabia but in the 4th century BC Nabatean stay here in this place. We believe Nabatean choose this place here because of three reasons. The first one, the mountain good defense to protect him. And we see that when we go to site. It's very protected by the mountain. The second thing, they found many natural water spring around the area, especially in the town up uh, on Wadi Musa. We have more than 40 natural water spring. So the Batian people in that time built a water channel from the spring up in the mountain through the river through the rock mountain here to supply him inside of water and later I show you some of the original water channel and the third reason which encouraged the Batian to stay here the location it was strategic because there were big civilization around the area Greeks, Roman, Assyrian, Egyptian, Arabian so that's good for the Batian people to use this place here as a station for caravans, for traders, for people when they cross the area. So those reasons made the Batia people stay here between 400 years BC to 700 years AD. Between this time, Bitra grew up, became a city, became a capital for the Batian kingdom. Dekat Petra, Petra ni sebenarnya satu tamadun uh, Bangsa Dia panggil Nabatian uh, Lama dululah Dan uh, Kita percaya apa ni Kaum Nabatian ni Mereka hidup pada zaman Nabi Soleh Kerana uh, Ketika zaman Nabi Soleh tu ada juga uh, Perkampungan seumpama ini Bandar seumpama ini di uh, Arab Saudi Dekat Madinah Okey uh, Nanti kita boleh masuk tengok dia kingdom ataupun city memang cantik dalamnya ada mahkamah, ada perumahan, ada pejabat, uh, ada tentera dan sebagainya. Uh, ini dulu cara dia orang buat saliran air, bawa air masuk. So ini adalah cara dia untuk membekalkan air kepada penduduk dalam city. Jom kita.